Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we will see if ChatGPT can teach us SAN and NAS storage. So basically ChatGPT, you may be aware, it's a very popular chatbot these days. So every techie guy is exploring ChatGPT to see if uh, ChatGPT can help uh, them in their day-to-day -day activities or learning new technologies or answering the difficult question. So we will also ask some question to ChatGPT related to storage and we will see if they are accurate enough and end of this video we will conclude that whether we should use chat gpt or not so here i have in chat gpt consoles i have two version chat gpt 3.5 which is basically the free version and chat gpt 4 which is the premium version so we will ask the same questions to both chat gpt 3.5 and chat gpt 4 to see what difference is uh, there in terms of uh, getting the answer so let me ask the first question so very very basic question is what is cyan storage so let me see what answer it gives so this is basically the free version it's giving so it has started writing the answer now all of this answer i will put in my blog so the link of the blog will be on the description you can uh, go there and you can visit what answer is given by chat gpt so let go through that cyan stands for storage area network which is high speed network that enables multiple server access shared storage resources yes kind of true now typically consists of several components storage array yes fiber channel switches hba SAN management software and storage offer several benefits improved performance scalability centralized management i think it's a pretty much good answer i can see so it's uh, basically very close to what is sans storage now let's ask the same question to chat gpt4 so let me click on new chat click on chat gpt4 and here i will ask uh, what is sans storage let me correct the spelling so it has started answering the questions now let's see what uh, the premium version of chat gpt gives the answer so it is little bit uh, slow a storage area network is a type of storage networking that provide access to consolidated block level access okay now key features of uh, SAN storage of one includes high speed connectivity fault tolerance scalability advanced storage features centralized management so it is giving a note as well that SAN should not be confused with uh, NAS which is another popular method of storage in networked environment now I basically like the answer which was given on chat GPT 3.5 which was the free version but you can also read these answers and uh, in my blog and you can decide which one is better for you guys now let's ask a few more questions so basically I will ask the free version so let me just uh, go to new chat and chat GPT 3.5 is there now I will ask uh, brocade zoning command let me see how, what answer it's giving because it's a very specific question now let me hit enter and see what is it's giving have their own command line interface okay uh, so it has uh, completed the answer let me see what some commonly used brocade science switch commands no that is that was not the question or uh, let me see Oh yeah, uh, brocade switch commands. I have not specifically asked uh, zoning commands. So let me just modify it. Brocade sans switch zoning commands. Uh, let me save and submit and let me see what answer it's giving. Again, yeah, it has given in a very good uh, manner. But uh, again, let's see what are the commands. So basically, first thing is that configure terminal. Now, configure terminal is basically there in Cisco, I believe, not in uh, Brocade. So create a zone. Again, the config mode, it is there. So basically, it is giving me the answer for switch. Cisco switch zoning commands, not for Brocade sans switch command. And again, it's a switch config zone add. Basically, I think all these commands are CFG save. And now, yes, CFG save is basically for Brocade, not for Cisco switch. So basically, it gets confused here. It has given me the answer combinedly from Cisco switch and from the brocade sign switch which is not at all very good now let's see same command if we'll ask to the premium version of chat GPT let's see what uh, answer it gives let me select chat GPT 4 and uh, brocade sign switch zoning command let me see what it is giving so here is a general list of command you could use to create a zone add members to zone and activate the zone on the brocade sign switch exact command can vary depend on specific system and version yes that is true now let's see what it is giving so view current configuration and zone 
information cfg show yes now create an alias for the worldwide wwpn of the device ali create yes the answer is correct now create a zone zone create zone name alias name colon alias name to yes this is the zone create command now add the zone to the configuration cfg add the zone name config name and zone name yes that is also correct enable the configuration cfg enable cfg config name and finally cfg set now this is the exact uh, answer for uh, brocade sand switch zoning command so so far what we have seen is that if you need an informational thing for related to sand storage then chat gpt3 or the free version is giving the correct answer but uh, if you want something specific for example the command now chat gpt4 or the premium version is giving a good answer now let me ask uh, chat gpt4 the cisco sand switch cisco sand switch zoning command and let's see what it is giving so it has started the answers allocating resource for data storage and assigning them to individual server okay connect to the switch enter the config mode config t define the zone zone name zone name vsan yes that is correct we have to give the vsan name here now add members to the zone member p wwn wwpn that is somewhat correct now let's review from the beginning actually that would be easy for us so first two command yes that is correct actually zone name so this will and allow us to enter the zone config mode and there we can add the member wwpn then define the zone set zone set name zone set name vsan yes add the zone to zone set a member zone name it will add the zone to the zone set now activate the zone set activate name zone set v send one and then save the changes copy running config to start of config now yes this is somewhat correct i mean it has not given me in a very fancy format but uh, yes it is correct so i believe we can made a conclusions here whether you can use chat gpt or not is that if you want informational knowledge yes chat gpt 3.5 or the free version is uh, good but if you want something specific uh, commands or specific information related to sand storage then chat gpt4 is useful now there may be a lot of scenarios where you can use so basically chat gpt3 is free so you can use to explore so many things just to give you an overview i have asked some basic and very commonly used uh, question to chat gpt so hope you like this uh, video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video in my channel you will get a notification immediately